Oh, hey, YouTube, what is really good? My name is Invivid Color. Starting up in another draft league with APA Season 4. This draft league is Little Cup. We are recording this battle very, very early. I don't think it's supposed to go live until about two weeks. So hopefully by then, I've sort of announced that I'm in this. I think I've already announced on Twitter, but I've announced that I'm in this and I've uploaded a team builder. So, or not a team builder, but a draft breakdown. So I haven't done that. Uh, yell at me in the comment section if I have. Go watch it. Um, our opponent this week is going to be the Winnipeg Blue Squirtles, coached by Just Kurt. And the, these battles are always a little hard to prep for and by these battles I mean specifically little cup battles but that being said let's not waste any time let's just get right into this all right so Kurt decides to bring the Skiddo the Tyrant the Shelmet the Froki the Lillipup and the Alolan Meowth so I was really expecting uh the Gothita here um what's his fastest taunt mon I think it's the Alolan Meowth is the fastest mon that gets taunt I could also see that as a lead I could see the Shelmet as a lead to potentially set up spikes, which would be decent. Um, I would like to get up my sticky webs with my spinner rack as soon as possible because it looks like his win condition here is this Tyrant. And if I'm able to set up sticky webs, even after one Dragon Dance, most of my things will outspeed. Let's see. So I could see a lead of the Shelmet set up spikes. I could also see a lead of the Meowth to just parting shot on turn one or potentially the Froakie to U-turn. I don't want to lead Spinarak into Shelmet because I don't want him to get a chance to set up Spike. So I guess I'm just lead. Well, okay. Now I'm going to lead Spinarak. Well, okay. This is my problem. If he leads Shelmet, uh, we have a pretty big we have a pretty big problem. I'm gonna actually going to lead with Tide Pod here, and hopefully, no. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Tide Pod here. I think it's a reasonable lead, and then we'll go based on. <laughs> how he leads uh tide pod is the kabuto i don't know if like i said we're recording this super early so i don't know if i've talked about like nicknames or anything but uh the Drifloon is afterlife the kabuto is tide pod the elicate is socket the pancham is atlanta the spinner rack is aragog and the magby is thermal my nicknames aren't the best but i'm i'm a fan of them okay so the worst possible lead for us here is skiddo i guess which would have been reasonable now that I think about it. it would have been a good reason to lead Spinarak, actually. Actually, I guess if we lead Skiddo, we can just switch out into Spinarak, but let's see. Lee. All right, this is kind of what I was expecting. Um, now I wish I would have led Spinarak, honestly. So let's find an Alolan Meowth Calc. I'm pretty sure this thing is just a parting shot set. Um, it could have Hidden Power Grass, which concerns me. It could also just taunt me here, which also concerns me. I don't want to go for a knockoff knowing that it's probably hidden power and I don't think I can go for a stealth rock either but I can definitely go for a rock slide I definitely go for a rock slide which would be a two hit KO and if he decides to go for a taunt we'll just yeah I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna go for a rock slide turn one yeah yeah, yeah. so as long as this rock slide connects and this is the general or sort of like the generic Alolan Meowth set we'll put it within KO range oh yeah oh wow it was a crit. Okay, I was about to say, there's no way. Um, well, actually, yeah. This is actually probably a bulkier uh, Meowth than I'm anticipating here because a crit looks like it would have done... Well, that could be 90% damage, I guess. And no, probably not. This thing's got a little bit of bulk in it for sure. It's got a little bit of bulk in it for sure. Um, the knockoff here looks like... The rock slide, the second rock slide is definitely a kill. Um, I can predict him to go for a parting shot here which I think I should probably predict and switch out. What would his switch in be? If he just goes for a parting shot, I can switch into Atlanta and then parting shot out on whatever he switches into. I think that's probably the best play here. Cause I'm assuming he's just gonna go for parting shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes for parting shot. I wish that I had slow baton pass. Like I wish I would have let a slow baton pass Mon. Um, so he does prevent me from getting my rocks up, but he won't be able to do that for long. His team actually has zero hazard removal, which is something I'm not a fan of. Kurt, if you're watching this, you gotta do something and pick up a hazard removal mod. I don't care if it's like a stunky. Is that still around? It might be. There's just gotta be something left on the table that has uh, defog or rapid spin and isn't weak to rocks. Okay, so this is actually a really good switch on his end. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do much to this. Actually, how much does Fire Punch do this thing? Well, I'm parting shotted, so I'm actually just gonna switch out here. There's no point in clicking. I don't think there's any point in clicking. Uh, now, the problem is this thing could be, all right, 
So he's on, he's in on his shellmate, which I'm assuming actually I am gonna stay in, and I'm gonna click knock off because this thing loses a lot of its bulk if it if it loses its uh, Eviolite, and then I can just switch into Kabuto. This thing loses a lot of bulk if it loses its Eviolite, and then I can just switch into Kabuto. That's the plan here. So a leech life on my Kabuto will do a reasonable amount. A leech life on Pancham will do actual nothing. And actually, okay, so I am at negative one. Let's do the let's do the math here real quick. So I'm at negative one. His knockoff should do about 17 to 20 percent if this is like a base set. So we'll see what that looks like. Uh, that seems about right. All right, so we knocked off the Evil. I didn't actually check. I didn't actually check the text to make sure it wasn't like a Z move mon or something. Um, so now with no item, Fire Punch does about 50 percent. Yeah, we can just switch into Kabuto. Uh, if we switch into Kabuto here, we take minimal damage from rocks and we threaten this thing out with a rock slide. And we can also set up our own stealth rocks in return. So we can do something like uh, rocks rapid spin would probably be reasonable. We can go rocks rapid spin predicting a switch. Unless this thing, this thing has to have like specifically Giga Drain or something to get me, which it could. It really could because this mon gets uh, moves like Giga Drain and oh wow. The slow baton pass for the win. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what's your switch going to be this time, though? You're just going to go back out into a little Meowth? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. I think you have to go into something that starts uh, threatening me. I wish I would have taken a picture of what his team is, actually. I wish I would have taken a picture. I'm actually going to pull out my phone and take a picture of his team the next time I have access to it. Because this, like, ha being able to look at his team... Yeah, okay, I forgot he had this thing. See, that's why you need to look. All right, so let's look at the Pokemon he has access to. Nope, these are mine. All right. So he's in with his Skiddo. Um, I don't think there's many plays I can make here other than just switching out because I don't think I can predict him to just, I mean, he could go for a bulk up here, which would be pretty good. It would be. I'm actually just going to go out into, uh, I'm going to go out into afterlife here. Seems like a reasonable switch. Um, I'll outspeed him 100% of the time. I can burn it. There's really nothing you can do to me. I think that's got to be the play. Yeah, I'm going to go into afterlife here. Um, I can start setting up calm minds. He did bring the lily pup though, which is something to worry about. I won't take spikes damage this way. Getting rid of the layer of spikes would be pretty pretty clutch. He goes for a really good play here. Goes to the rock slide. It's going to pop my uh, berry juice here. And then I will just be able to outspeed and will-o-wisp. And once this thing is burned, um, rock slide is not even a two-hit KO. So I feel good about this. I can just stay in and click the will-o-wisp. If we connect, that's great. <laughs> Uh, if we connect, that's 100% what needs to happen. I don't think he can just stay in and go for the rock slide again, though. I guess I probably should have looked at what his po like potential switches are. I mean, I don't mind burning anything on his team, to be honest. Like, anything burned is better than nothing. I think he'll probably switch. Like, I don't think he can stay in and let this thing uh, get burned unless this thing gets something like refresh or it's like a rest set or something like that. Made to absorb statuses, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm assuming though that this is just like a bulk upset. I'm assuming this is a bulk upset. And if it's a bulk upset and it gets burned, the entire Pokemon is pretty useless. It won't be able to threaten me later. And it's just set up bait for uh, my Magby, which would mean I would act actively want to leave it alive. I can also just switch out. I've learned from using uh, Drifloon and past the PLL, the Pokemon Little League, which I don't think we ever actually finished on the channel. The league just kind of uh, dismantled. Like there was a lot of uh, sort of stuff going on behind the scenes and a lot of people needed time. So we had to call off the playoffs of the league, which is unfortunate because I really liked my team for that league. I think Little Cup might be like one of my, it might be like one of my favorite sort of formats to draft, like just drafting Little Cup mons. I think you have to have a, a lower pool of coaches. Like, I don't know how many coaches are in the APA season four. I could probably check. I think it's like 14 or something. All right. So he is going to switch out into what is this thing? I guess this thing has to be. Uh, 
what berry is it that heals everything? It has to be that berry, right? No. That seems like a bold play. Maybe he expected me to be acro and he was expecting to take an acro here. I guess that's the, the read. All right, so let's look at the Little Cup Tyrant Dragon Dance set. It's now burned. We know he has, oh, he can't be, he has to be Berry Juice, like there's no way. All right, so he's burned. My Hex does 76% to 100%. So I actually have a chance to Oko here, which is fantastic. I can regrow my Berry Juice or I can Calm Mind. He can't one hit KO me unless he gets a, uh, a crit. He absolutely can't do that. All right. Stone Edge is a high crit move though. I think I just call mines and go for the, he has the Lillipup, right? Like he has it on his team this week. Yeah, he has the Lillipup. So setting up call mines right now seems loose. I'm actually just gonna go for the Hex because it has a chance to Oko and if nothing else, we'll at least burn through the Berry Juice. It would be great if this just took this thing out. Oh, come on. It was so close. Oh, I'm a sad panda. Oh, he wasn't berry juice. What were you? I'm so confused. I'm so confused, but I'm also not going to be mad about it. Okay, so what else does he have? Does he have anything that has a priority move? Froki? I think Froki gets priority. I guess the Alolan Meowth could have priority. Getting rid of the Tyrant is pretty huge, honestly. It was one of the biggest, like that's, I think the biggest threat on his team, absolutely. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna recycle here almost no matter what, I believe. What was the, maybe the Tyrant was a Z move, I guess. I guess it could have been a Z move Tyrant. Dragon Dance, like uh, Dragon Dance Z, Dracon Draconium Z. I just think that berry juice makes so much more sense because if he had berry juice in that instance, like he would have taken him down to one HP or burn death. What is this thing going to be? Yeah. So what priority moves does this thing have? It's shiny. I don't think that affects its priority moves. All right. So I need to look up Froki and see what priority moves this thing has access to. Oh, I guess I'm in gen five right now. That's odd. Does this thing get water shuriken? It doesn't. So do you have priority moves? It could also be choice scarfed. Quick attack won't do it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna click recycle because I, I don't think I I don't think I have a better play here. Uh yeah, okay, so it's not choice scarf. We're gonna recycle our berry, we're gonna eat the berry, and then we're gonna go to full. I think full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at seven HP, so we're gonna go to full. Now, what's this thing gonna do? Use Surf. I guess Protein doesn't trigger when its type doesn't change, which makes sense. How much does this do? All right, so it did 15. So if I keep, so if I recycle, okay, basically, um, okay, what happens if I'm at plus one Spideth against a Froakie? It is, has revealed absolutely nothing. It's not life orb. So we're taking damage. So I don't know what, I don't know what your item is. Uh, it's also surf instead of pump. So let's look at that and see if this damage looks about right. So it would have done 54. Yeah, it did 15. 15 is the most common roll here. So if I am at special defense plus one. Yeah, I can't live. That's unfort. Yeah, it still kills. Okay, so what if I recycle again and wait for a surf hit to do, I guess it could be choice specs, maybe? But that doesn't seem correct. I don't know. Do I have something that switches into this well? Do I have something that switches into a surf well? Um, I have my Elekid, which would force a switch here and then I could get Volt Switch Initiative. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, no. Because how much does my Elekid take from Surf? 84%, yeah, I can't do that. All right, I need to switch into one of my bulkier mons, I guess. Pancham takes 30 to 43% from Surf, and Spinarak takes, all right, actually, I'm gonna start by recycling here. I'm gonna recycle, 
and pop my berry and then hope for a low roll on surf like i would just like to have more hp i i it was also like this play was the best play if he switched okay so i need it to do less than 15 ideally 12 okay that's good so now at plus one spadef oh i'm sorry i'm on the wrong set here so go back to where is my Drifflin set? All right, so now at plus one spadef, I still die to the surf. How is this happening? <laughs> How? All right, whatever. I'm into better health now. I can switch out into something. It's not clear what that something is. Hex right now will do 78, 79%. It's just... I, I mean, I don't know what this thing set is, but whatever it is, I guess I just switch into, uh, this is hard. This is actually hard. I guess I should switch into Atlanta here. I'll be able to click drain punch and then get some health back. And I guess that's just where I'm at in life. I'm hurt by the spikes, which sucks. All right. So how much is this doing to me? All right, cool. So. Spikes took me to 21, so two damage. Um, and then we took, we net lost 11 here, so we took nine. Drain Punch will knock this thing out, or it has a chance to knock it out, rather. And I don't think he has like a fantastic switch in a Drain Punch, really. Uh, the Shelmet, but we knocked that thing's Eviolite Light off, if it had it. I, I'm assuming that's what he's gonna go into, but I still just want some HP back. Or this could be, yeah, 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 okay, so it is this thing. So Drain Punch is gonna do absolutely nothing here. That's a lot more than I thought. Okay, but the the critical thing here is that now that this Shelmet's in, and we know it no longer has, it no longer has its uh, Eviolite. I, it, I'm assuming that's what it had. I should have been watching the text. We can just click Fire Punch um, and take this thing out, and then he won't be, have a chance to set spikes up again. And we're still just in here with our Atlanta, which I think is a huge threat to him. Uh, also worth noting, if he goes out into something like the Skiddo, I can just parting shot on the Skiddo out into... Well, no, I can't parting shot on the Skiddo because the Skiddo has Rock Slide. Okay. Fair point. <laughs> you got me. The only thing I can't recycle on, I think, is the Meowth. I think anything else I can recycle on with my, uh, with my Drifloon to sort of like immediately get the berry, go back up to full health, and then get my Unburden boost. I also don't think there are many Pokemon that can um, Oko me from that. Like, I, I don't think he has any Pokemon that can Oko me once I'm at full. It could be wrong. Um, I'm assuming his Z-user was the uh, the Tyrant. I'm not really a fan of Z-moves in Little Cup, I guess. I mean, I'm a fan of Z... I'm a fan of Z Parting Shot, which I, what I thought he would be bringing, I really did. So this thing should die to this. All right, cool. So we see that the the Shelmet's gone, the Tyrant's gone. Both of those are big hits, honestly. Um, just because the Shelmet, I think, was the biggest threat to Pancham. Now he knows he can't just switch out in a Skiddo, so what does he go out into here? It's going to be interesting. The Froki outspeeds, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. The Lillipup, absolutely not. The Alolan Meowth, absolutely not. I guess he really doesn't have a switch into this thing. I get a drain punch anything he switches into and go up to basically full. Um, the Skiddo is his best shot, but knowing we have uh, knowing we have fire punch has to be pretty big game against that, I would imagine. I mean, it's going to be a bulkier set for sure. Like for sure, for sure, it's going to be a bulkier set. But can't one shot me. Like, there's no shot of that. I think that has to be a switch, right? I mean, I guess he'd go into the Meowth and click Parting Shot. If he goes into the Meowth, though, I'm going to click Parting Shot. But if he goes into the Meowth and clicks Taunt and I click Parting Shot, I guess he kind of gets me. I'm assuming he's just going to click Parting Shot here, so I am also going to click Parting Shot. I'm the slower Parting Shot. He should click Taunt here, I think. I think his play is to click Taunt here because if he clicks Parting Shot and then I click Parting Shot, I get so much advantage. Like, so, 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 so much advantage. Um, whereas if he clicks taunt and then parting shots the next turn, 
it's much, much better for him. I guess the the fear here, though, is that I just go for a Drain Punch. So, I don't know. I just don't, I don't really want to be in with Pancham. Um, I don't, I don't know. Switching back into Spikes, though, doesn't sound super appealing. Unless I'm at a higher HP. All right, we'll, we'll see. I guess he could also have a hidden power tucked away because this thing has Technician. You're gonna have like Fake Out, he go for a damage play. Just goes for the knockoff, wow. Not bad. I actually, um, I respect this play quite a bit. I think this is a good play. Um, it gives me an Elekid play here. It gives me an Elekid play here because Elekid outspeeds this thing 100% of the time. Unless he's Scarfed, which seems a little loose. Uh, Elekid outspeeds 100% of the time. So it gives me an Elekid Volt Switch play. I think his play 100% has to just be sack this thing off. I'm just going to click Thunderbolts. I don't really, like I outspeed his entire team. Um, I don't really want to Volt Switch and then switch into something and give him initiative. So I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. If he's Scarfed, he gets my Life Orb, which seems pretty decent, I guess. I can't imagine this thing is. Have I? Have it? Has it revealed an item to me yet? I don't think it has. It's not berry juice. It could be Eviolite, I suppose. It's gonna die to this, um, no matter what. Oh, so he just withdraws. Wow, that's a that's a bold take. All right, so he's in the in with the Skiddo. I actually, uh, I mean, I can see this as a play here. How much does Signal Beam do? Can I actually just go for Signal Beam? Does it have a chance to kill? Has a really small chance to kill, but it's a guaranteed two hit KO. I think that's my play. Just go for the Signal Beam. Go for the Signal Beam. I think he's probably gonna predict. I don't think he can just go for Horn Leech, right? Cause I have so many good switches into it. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If he doesn't go for Horn Leech here, then Signal Beam just gets him. Like, super gets him. Um, I don't know. He'd go for Bulk up here. Uh, he would just die, though. If he's predicting, like, a switch, maybe. He knows I'm he knows I'm Life Orb at this point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He'd go for Bulk up here, and that would be pretty good. Except, well, no, I mean, that would be bad for him. It would be good for me, because then it would just, I would have, like, a, like, guaranteed KO on this thing. I think he has to go for Horn Leech. I don't think it kills me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Horn Leech doesn't have a shot to kill me, but this should have a shot to kill. Like, a very outside shot. Okay, so, it was, like I said, like, it was loose. But, bulldoze. All right, so I actually died of that. Oh! Holy! <laughs> That's bonkers. That's actually bonkers. Um, that's nuts. Does he save that? Does he preserve this thing? I can't believe we lived that. Because Elekid's uh, defenses are not good. They're not good. I go for Thunderbolt for a guaranteed KO if he predicts a switch here. Uh, I guess that's my play. Just go for Thunderbolt. I don't really need Elekid for anything at this point in time. I just know he has better switches in a signal beam, right? Like, he could switch in... I mean, not really. I guess we just go for Signal Beam. We just make the safe play. I don't think he's gonna switch anyways. I really don't. I think it would be pretty loose to switch. Um, we are getting to the part of the game where Magby just wins. Like we're getting to the part of the game where Magby just wins at certain stages. I think it's worth noting that his Froki could still potentially be Scarfed. Right? The Froki could be Scarfed. Or have we disproved that already? I don't actually recall. I don't actually recall. I think if the Froakie was Scarf, it, that was probably a switch into Elekid. I don't know. I should have gone for the big play um, on the Alola Meowth and clicked Signal Beam because that would have, oh, why didn't I think about that? Like Signal Beam also hits Meowth for super effective damage. How does he, how does he outspeed here? I'm so confused. I mean, I still think he dies, but I'm really confused as to how he outsped. I'm very confused at this line of play. Did it have a berry that gave him... What happened? Did he consume the berry that lets him go first if he falls below a certain amount of health? I have no clue. No, he had to be Eviolite. 
I'm I'm actually confused. I'm actually very confused. Okay, so we have to play pretty tight here. Um just because he has a lot of like reasonable ways to take over the game, I think. Well, his Meowth is pretty low. He hasn't switched in his Lillipup at all. And his Froakie is still alive. I think Froakie's probably the switch here. If Froakie's the switch, I think I think I just want to be in on Aragog here. I think I just want to be in on the Spider Cider. So if he goes in a Froki, I can, yeah. So now I can just click, um, I just click Leech Life and we should be super fine with that. Cause he doesn't really have a great switch in a Le Leech Life, like at all. And I don't think he ha like, I don't think he has anything that can do enough damage to me. If we get rid of the Froki, I just win with Magby and it's like 100% confirmed. Like if we, if we get rid of the Froki, we win with Magby cause I can just mock punch the Meowth to death. And then I would assume probably Fire Punch, Mock Punch the Lillipup. And we have Berry Juice, so I don't even need to Belly. I don't even need to Belly Drum. I mean, I'm not running damage calcs right now, uh, to be fair, but I'm pretty sure that there's not much, unless it has like Hidden Power Fire, and even then we probably still have that. Froki is, I mean, you would think it would be cool because it has protein, but it's actually like relatively weak in Little Cup. It's stats just don't line up the way they need to. And it's got good coverage, but still. Okay, so actually Surf will do about 69%. Uh, or it's, it's a range of 52 to 69%. Well, no, 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 because he's not Life Orb. I think he might be Scarfed, but I really don't have a way to test that. And I don't want Afterlife in until I can 100% recycle. Because Afterlife can also win this game. It would be a matter of like stalling out the little pup with burns, but I think once the little pup's burned, the game's probably over anyways. All right, so we're just gonna go for the leech life, which will hurt anything. It'll actually kill the Meowth. Um, I don't know what the little pup could have. I, I guess, I, I think I put like a little pup set in here. Use a surf, so let's see. I should take this pretty well. It should be like 50% max. Yeah, that's about, that's about right. So we're gonna use leech life, which should do 47 to 63%. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we just get a quick leash life again. And then once this thing's gone, we just get to win the game. I think he has to switch out here. Like he has to let me his Meowth die. There's no way. I I don't see any world where he stays in. Because this thing is his fastest mon left. Well no 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 no. It's not, it's not. Because he has the his Meowth. But the Meowth doesn't it's not offensive enough and my my Magby just checks it. I guess he, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't think I'm packing Mock Punch on the Magby. All right, let's see what the Lillipup could have. I don't think this Lillipup, I mean, I just could have Thunder Wave, which could hinder the Magby. But like, Fire Punch, Mock Punch is just a, ki a kill, like guaranteed, almost. It's almost guaranteed. Oh, Return actually hits really hard. I guess the little pup could be a Berry Juice Mon too. Okay, I'm seeing it. I I'm seeing I'm seeing the reason for preserving it. Um, so I really want to burn it. <laughs> I think one of my one of my best outs right now is burning the little pup with um with Afterlife. He withdraws. That checks out. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, he's actually switching in the little pup here. Okay. I'm assuming this thing is Fire Fang since this is a switch. That's a really good, uh, that's a really good place to roll damage at, honestly. That's a really good place to roll damage at, just in case this thing is, uh, berry juice. We don't pop its berry juice, and... Yeah, that's, that's great, actually. Um, so I'm guessing we did 10 damage to it, and it's got 23 or 22 health or something like that. Okay, cool. I'm actually gonna stay in and set up sticky webs. Is that the play? Sticky webs are toxic spikes. Toxic spikes gives afterlife. I'm just gonna, mm, I think I'll get two hits no matter what. Cause Fire Fang's gonna do a maximum of 43%. I just don't really want to attack again with this thing. So I'm gonna set up sticky webs first. Um, return does a maximum of 52%. So I get late game sticky webs up. And if I live another hit, I'll get to set up Toxic Spikes. 
I wish I had, well, no, I don't want, I don't, I act, I aggressively don't want Sucker Punch on this thing. Um, now I just have to switch into something that outspeeds this thing and does more than 50% to it, which I think is my Magby. I'm assuming this thing is berry juice. It makes a lot of sense if it, it wouldn't, it makes a lot of sense that it would be. Um, if it has no speed, I could sort of like double up on protection here and go out into Kabuto and click knockoff. Cause if I knock off the berry juice, that would also be a reasonable line to take. I think with sticky webs up, I pretty much am guaranteed the win here. I'm like, I don't know. I, there's also a like a non-zero percent chance he goes for a move. Like maybe he doesn't have Fire Fang. I, I would imagine he would, um, but maybe he doesn't have Fire Fang and he goes for a different move because he's a map predicting me to switch. He goes for something that would be like super effective against the afterlife. I feel like I'm tripping over my words. I'm just, I'm kind of excited because the last league battle I played, I felt like I was playing from behind the entire game. This time I feel like I'm playing from ahead. I, I might actually like this team better than my PLL team. I don't know. It's yet to be, it's yet to be seen. Um, I really like having Spinarak as an addition. I really loved Cutie Fly in the PLL because it's, in my opinion, the best sticky web setter in, in this format um, in sort of like little cup draft. Oh, wow. He does just switch out. That's nuts. So now his speed gets reduced. Um, I don't think I outspeed anyways, but I think he's just dead now. Like now I think he actually has no outs. I think he's, I think he's overthinking it a little bit. Um, so I have my spinner act in play. We're at eight life. Uh, we also have nine speed. He has a Froki, which maxes out at 17 speed. So it would still outspeed no matter what. I'm just going to go for a shadow sneak now. Like he's going to outspeed. That's fine. But I'm going to go for my shadow sneak. This guarantees Magby gets to come in and kill with Mock Punch. And then I think we just win the game. Like, pretty sure. Like, um, because Magby Mock Punch to Froki does 26 to 31%. So, I mean, I guess this is like a little bit of a risk. This is a little bit of a risk. Not really, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I, I'm pretty sure that Magby can get all, pick up the rest of the kills here, and I'm pretty sure it's safe. There's no way, like, what is 26% of your health? 26 is five. Mock Punch does a minimum of five. Okay, cool. So, yeah, all right, we're safe. I'm just gonna say we're safe. Yeah, okay. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. So now, I'm pretty sure we just win the game. Um, I can't fathom, I think I can just fire punch the Lillipup and I definitely can just mock punch the Meowth and we should be good to go. The Meowth can have fake out, like Meowth can have double priority if it wants, I guess, but it's already revealed knockoff parting shot. Is that it? So now he's going to get his speed lowered. Um, do I go for a belly drum here? It seems like kind of loose when I can just click fire punch. Right? How much did, how much is it gonna do to this little pup though? If this is a like the little pup set that I'm looking at, which looked legit, it looked reasonable. Um, the return actually has a 43.8% chance to Oko here, which is nuts. How? How? I'm I'm gonna assume Fire Punch takes this thing out. I really am. I don't think there's a world where Fire Punch doesn't take this thing out, so I'm just gonna click it. Okay, yeah, we win. All right. I was like uh, looking at the calcs. It says Fire Punch does a minimum of 56% to a Lillipup that has zero defense EVs, but some HP investment. And now Mock Punch just takes this thing out. All right, cool. Okay. We we navigated our way through the first uh, APA battle, and I think we did a pretty good job. I think I played really well. I think I was, I was actually thinking about my plays. The last league battle I did, which is going to go up like, or it's already went up. Uh, for the PGBL, I, I don't know. I've been in like a weird mood lately because a lot's been going on. I need to post an update video. I don't know. Anyways, great game, Kurt. That was great. Uh, Kurt's links will be in the description down below. Definitely go check out their side of the battle. You always want to see how both coaches react. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me grow to my full potential so that I can talk to you beautiful people 
in a way that makes sense and then an outro so if you enjoyed this definitely click that like button it would mean the absolute most to me if you're new here you should probably click that subscribe button because we're at least uploading draft league content i want to challenge myself to upload like one non-pokemon video a week but i haven't done it yet but i should do it i don't know i'm probably gonna do it i might start streaming on twitch i've got a lot of things i want to do but also not the most time right now so we'll see how things work out um i love you all you should talk to me in the comment section down below because um that would make me feel good you know if you just left some nice comments or if you think i'm awful you can say really rude things to me i'll still heart your comment i'll try to respond to comments for like two days um yeah other than that i think we're kind of done here so i'm gonna go you should click all of my videos and watch them all because i haven't been on youtube in a while and i need to start getting more views so that my uh videos start showing up and to recommend it again all right i love you bye so tell me something.